Hello adventurers, I'm Gray, and welcome back to some more Graveyard Keeper, where there is a ton to do and I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> right now, actually, my internet is out, which is bad news for me because my classes are all online right now, so I've been missing all my classes today, haven't been able to do anything for school, and I figured, well, if my internet's completely down, I'm not able to do school stuff that I need to get done, why not play video games instead and record some Graveyard Keeper? So we're here, we're doing this. And there's quite a few comments from you guys earlier that I should probably address while I fix up these graves. Because I think I should probably make some of these better. I could use some stone repair kits and maybe some more borders and or crosses and fences and things like that. So I'm going to go get that done. While I do this though, I'm going to read some comments. So first of all, the main help of zombies, I've been told, is to get resources just in general. So I don't actually have to chop down wood or collect stone myself. Which is fine, that's basically a way to get infinite resources just delivered straight to me whenever I need them so I don't have to collect them. The only problem with that that I see is that I'm not going to get any of the points for collecting resources like red points like I'd normally get. Also I'm starting to feel like my storage system is start is getting a bit full and I'm not quite sure what the rightful citizen papers do again. Ah, okay, apparently I need the rightful citizen papers for an upgraded church to hold sermons and things like that. So that'll be something for the future. Jesus, my, my inventory is so full right now. And my chests are full as well. This is an issue. I might need to start building some more trunks down here at some point. But for now, for now we're good. So next, I was asking about what's a good way to get money. And apparently, I've heard that farming is a really good way to get a good amount of money. Because you can sell crops that are the lowest quality or quality less crops at a farmer. And, and you can sell some baked items. The bartender will buy bronze and silver star beer and wine, the merchant will buy gold star wine, and things like bread can be cooked for good profits. So it might be a good idea for me to spend some of my money, invest it in some seeds, and start growing a much larger farm than what I currently have here. Because I have like carrots and stuff growing, yeah. But I need more than just carrots to feed the donkey and get bodies and stuff like that. That sounds very weird. <laughs> Brand new sentence, but yeah, I need to start farming for money. I just realized that to get the stone cutter too, which I need for some really good gravestone stuff, I need to get 50 blue points. And that's going to be a bit of an issue. So I think for now, I'm just going to stick to sort of the default gravestone and stone grave fence. Maybe build a couple repair kits to make things a little bit easy. I think you make them in here, right? Or where do you make the repair kits again? Oh, here it is. All right, some wood repair kits. I don't know if we need any wood ones, but I'll, I'll keep some on me just in case. It's mostly stone that we need right now, and we don't actually have any stone stored, which is a bit of an issue. In fact, we don't have any. It maybe it would have been a good idea to get some zombies just to do that. I can, actually, I can make them out of this type of stone, the small pieces, so that, that's fine. Okay, some quicker comments. Whenever I'm buying something with a slider, I can click on the number and type how many I want, and that'll speed things up. Oh, this gives a lot of red points. I need to craft this stuff more often. Okay, and when walking to the farmer's area to buy seeds and stuff like that, it's actually quicker to walk through the field in a diagonal way rather than walking along the road. So I'll keep that in mind just to get around quicker. Um, there was a bit of a talk about Catan. I talked about that last time and how much I love the game. That's sort of irrelevant to Graveyard Keeper, but I really enjoy hearing about your guys' board games and what you enjoy. I, I, like, I like these social deduction type games. They're a lot of fun. And then I also mentioned how right now I really need to talk to Snake and get a lot of stuff done from him. And apparently right now, Snake does a ton of stuff and it's very useful. But in the future, I'll probably end up having to talk to Miss Charm a lot because she does a lot of things. Actually, it's in, this is Inquisitor Day right now, isn't it? I think, is this Inquisitor or is this Miss Charm? Can't quite tell. Also, this costs a lot of stamina. I get blue points for this though, which is really nice. Actually, I can just craft these things and get tons of blue points, wow. I didn't, I was not paying attention, I did not notice that. This is Inquisitor Day, I think. Yeah, Inquisitor Day. So, I need to make wine and get rid of the guards. Okay, I can do that, actually. Oh, the graveyards take, the gravestones take one thing per, one inventory slot per gravestone. Dang. When it comes to investments, once again, don't take investment advice off me, but I agree. It might be a good idea to invest a little bit now, and then maybe a, another half of your investment money in another two weeks from now to see if the economy gets worse. And then it will improve in the future, I'm sure. I actually made the perfect amount of gravestones. Sick. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh, I gotta spend some energy on this as well. Not sure if I'll have enough. 
regardless this will improve the quality of our graveyard so that's fine that's the goal here we're gonna make a high quality high tier graveyard and i'm not gonna have enough energy for this last one nope almost had enough i feel like these bodies are getting worse the more that they're out in the rain aren't they was i supposed to add the sort of fence posts and the gravestones and all that stuff like that right away otherwise the quality goes down faster I'm not quite sure how this stuff works. <laughs> Regardless, we're going to make the graveyard as best as we can. And it's going to be beautiful. But I need some more sleep. Actually, let's go to the Inquisitor first and see what he has to say. And while I do that, I'll read some more comments. Apparently, bronze is the lowest star possible and everything has 100% chance of getting bronze or higher. Um, I think that was for... That was for like the stories and chapters and all that type of stuff. So it's always going to be at least bronze and we'll bring it up from there. Also, apparently the way to improve the quality of chapters without improving the quality of notes is by getting perks in the writing skill tree, which is in here in book writing. So I could probably go for like writer's inspiration, like books to make better quality books, all this stuff, writing tricks, prayer for imagination, perk writer. I guess writer would give me some better quality stuff. Also, apparently I shouldn't worry too much about the zombie stuff right now because while they're nice to get some resources, at the moment, there's only one thing that can be made by zombies and not by me, and I don't know what it is, because they didn't say, but that's fine, I don't want to get spoiled. And apparently I can buy it anyway in the future, so it's fine. Sn when it comes to Snake, he arrives a little before his day, but leaves around midday. So he stays for quite a while, but leaves before most people would leave during their day. And there's a little cryptic thing saying, I will confess there might be a way to get blue points, and or I will confess there might be a way to get faith without having to wait for the prayer day. And if you go into technologies, I was actually looking for it. And in Power of Faith, you can make a confessional here, which I'm guessing is a way to get faith. Which would be nice. <laughs> it costs 30 blue points though, which means I could probably just make a couple more of those grave fences and that would be a good way to get blue points. Honestly, I'm really glad I just happened upon that today. <laughs> what are the portal guards for? Monsignor, do you think the gods here on which hill are really necessary? I'm not sure, but the town is full of rumors. Someone has been seeking forbidden knowledge. Dang heretics. Last time, the dark rituals here in the mountain ended with a great blast. We can't be too careful about such things. I can look after the hill. I'll let you know if I see anyone come by. Your guard ambush is obvious from a mile away. Hmm, you're right. But are you worthy of the sacred trust? Oh, man. So I've got to get him to be a lot more friendly with me before I can deal with that stuff. Okay, that's fine. We talked to him. That's what really matters right now. And I got to bring him some nice wine. So which means I should probably start gardening. I really should start spending some money on different crops and all that type of stuff. There's so much to do now. There's so much to do every time. Even if I forget what I was doing, I can come up with something new to do in this game constantly. Honestly, it's... This game was really surprised me in that aspect, because I sort of expected it to be a, sort of a repetitive grind where you're just doing the same thing over and over, just trying to make money and all that stuff. And while you are trying to do that, there's always so many things to keep track of, all these quests, all these activities. Even if the game looks simple and looks like you're just walking around doing the same things over and over, it feels like you're doing different things all the time. And I like that. Alright, let's finish making this graveyard absolutely beautiful. It's going to be marvelous. Perfect. Great fence. There we go. Of course, we can always upgrade these st the stone stuff for later on. Actually, it says it adds two. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks nice. I felt like this one didn't improve that much when I added this. Oh, it's because it... Mm, okay. I'm not quite sure. I forget what all this stuff means, but I'll figure it out eventually. It's no big deal. Boop, boop. And now this one. And our graveyard's going to be like 23 level of quality, I think. Uh, 22. 22. But we can keep on improving it by fixing... Oh. oh, I need some stone repair kits. Yeah, I only made wood repair kits. Does anything even need wood repairs? I mean, I, I know I can kind of tell just by looking at them. I still like to kind of take a check inside. But for the most part, all the wood stuff looks fine. Yeah, I think all the wood stuff is fine. I just need like one, two, three, four, five, maybe like five or so stone repair kits. Four or five. And we can get our graveyard at least up to close to 30. We're getting it up there. I completely forgot that I need clay in order to make stone repair kits. 
Fortunately, now we do have access to clay. We can actually dig it up now, which is nice. I should probably get like a good surplus of it. That way we don't have to go back and forth and get it all the time. I'm guessing clay is something that I can get the zombies to get at some point as well. But it's not like it's that big of a deal to mine. And also, or shovel up, I should say. And it gives me some green points as well. Which somehow I've been getting more red points than green recently, even though green points are really easy. Just because I haven't been gathering many resources right lately. Probably get like 20 of this. I actually got 30, so <laughs> a little bit extra, but it's fine. We won't have to pick it up for a while now. And if there's stuff in here, I don't think we need to leave seeds in here most likely. Because it's not like we can use these in crafting recipes out here anyway. I'll throw the dirt in and put the seeds inside, I guess. Honestly, I think I'm about to make some more storage units for out there. Maybe like one more trunk just so I can throw stuff in when I feel like it. I completely forgot that this chest existed as well. So I guess I'll make this my crop chest until I actually build a chest in the crops area, which I probably should. <laughs> if you can, can you, can you build a chest down here in the, in the, in the garden? I need to check. Also, we have some carrots that, are they grown yet? Yeah, they are. Okay. We can probably get some more donkey um, stuff to go on. Yeah, we can build a trunk. Okay, I'm going to build a trunk out here. Honestly, I should have started building trunks a little while ago, but, you know, it's fine. It'll make things easier and more organized. Bup, bup. There we go. Now throw all the seeds in there. And I believe if I do that, I can just plant straight from what's in the trunk as well. So it'll just make things easier in general. And all the iron is done smelting. Neato. Man, fortunately, the carrot farm is going well. We have enough seeds to set up another two sets of crops going on because we have nine. So we can do that. And also we have 20 carrots now. So we have enough to feed the donkey for two sets. And and they don't and he doesn't eat all 10 each time either. So that's basically four bodies, I think, that we can get from this amount of carrots. So let's just toss them all in the trunk. I know ca carrots aren't, aren't going to get sold that much because we're just using them to feed the donkey. But that's their own purpose. It's fine. Keep adding more. There we go. He's going to be very pleased with that. Hopefully I remember to actually get these bodies and not just leave them there. All right, we have some stone repair kits now, and also it is prayer day, and also I think we have enough blue points to make a prayer for faith, which I think is a very vital thing for us to get right now because we really need more faith, just in general, to do anything. So let's see, in here you can craft a prayer for faith using a chapter. Oh, actually, it costs faith to get it, not blue points. Okay, so we gotta get a chapter made. To get a chapter made, we need to go to our desk and craft it out of notes to craft notes we need pen and ink a story and paper okay and i think we have most of these things i think we still need the pen and ink though the ink is crafted at the church workbench actually we usually we bought the ink last time from the astrology right hmm because we don't really we have access to water black paint though at the alchemy workbench and then conical flask at a furnace too, which we don't really have a furnace too, nor the ability to make conical flasks. There's quite a lot to go through before we can get that, I guess. Conical flask. Oh, I can actually unlock that right now. Do I have a furnace too, though? No, I don't. I can unlock that right now as well. <laughs> and we can make steel if we do that. I'm not sure what steel would be useful for, but... Should we unlock this? I mean, we have some blue points, and we can always get more blue points. I say why not? Let's get the ability to make these conical flasks. So we can start working towards a better prayer. And then, and then let's see. What does it cost to make a furnace too? Probably a good amount of resources. Some, some, some iron, I'm guessing. Furnace too costs 20 stone, 8 complex iron, and 2 pigskin. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. Got to make some more complex iron parts, but... Well, first of all, we got to make some simple. We have tons of iron, though, so that's fine. We do have to dig up a bit more stone, but there's plenty around us, so it's fine as well. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Is this enough? It required eight complex iron parts, right? And this would be six. And my stamina's not that great. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the prayer, because I don't think I'm going to make this done by the end of this day. Hmm. But will I? Will I, though? Will I? 
I don't want to risk it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the prayer because I can pass time super quickly anyway now that I know I can meditate even if I'm not tired. So if I really want to skip to another prayer day, I can just like get on my phone and wait for time to pass or something. <laughs> Great gameplay right there. All right. Let's do this. Boop, boop. Get some more faith. Get some things done. We're going to need faith anyway to craft what we need to craft, so. Nice. I'm the best graveyard keeper slash preacher in all the land. Can you give me some money too? Oh, I'm actually getting money. Sick. I mean, it's not going to be too much, but a little bit of money. It's always nice. Yeah. How much money did we get? 66. Bronze or silver or co copper. Well, it's not silver. <laughs> I'm blind. I wonder if the Furnace 2 would do everything that the Furnace 1 can do, but more. My guess is yeah, because it is called the Furnace 2. But some of the new wooden, the wood cutter tools and stuff, don't craft the same things as the previous ones. They craft some of the same things, some, sometimes more efficiently. But certain things like the graveyard pieces and stuff like that, gravestones, the wooden stuff, is not able to be crafted in the new ones. Like this saw blade over here. Circular saw doesn't it doesn't craft any of the graveyard pieces, whereas this old sawhorse is able to craft a wooden marker. Not saying that I need wooden markers anymore. Honestly, I probably don't even really need the sawhorse anymore because wooden markers are kind of like ineffective compared to my current stone markers. And I should probably replace all the wooden stuff at my graveyard at some point with stone, just because I feel like that would not only last longer. I don't know if it lasts longer in game, but just like realistically, it would last longer. And also. It's higher quality. We'll see, though. At some point in the future. It's not like the first priority. We need the stone to craft other things. Ba -ba 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 -ba. By the way, just to showcase the whole clicking in order to determine how much you want to move thing. If I click on this, I could probably go in here and type 15. There we go. I move the exact amount I want. Though, so really, I want to move everything. And now we should have the ability to make the furnace, too. Look at this thing. What a smokestack. <laughs> Okay, it can only rotate horizontally, so I guess I'll toss it here, question mark. And if it and if it's better than the previous furnace in every way, I'll just remove the old one, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do that. Alright. It's probably gonna cost a lot of effort to build this thing. Actually it doesn't cost that much. <laughs> there we go. A new furnace. I've made the blast furnace. Now I can spell iron twice as quickly, because it's Minecraft. So, so 10 firewood gives 90 fuel in here. How about in this one? 10 firewood gives 100 fuel. Oh, 10 wood gives 20. 10, 10 wood sticks gives 20. Um, 10 coal gives 180. 10 coal gives 160. Okay, so it's better. Iron ingot takes 230 and 25. This one takes 230, 25. Yep. Iron ingot, you can smelt it from metal scraps using... Oh, that's nice. 40 seconds, 15. And this one you can do it in 35 seconds and 10. So it's generally more efficient. And you can also make steel now out of graphite, which I have not found, and iron. And you can make glass and conical flasks, which is the main thing that I want to make. So let's actually do that. Let's fuel this up a bit. Smelt some glass. Six glass should be good to make a, certain, a set of conical flasks. We'll let that go, actually. And what else did we need beyond conical flasks? We needed, hmm, what else was it? We needed ink, right? I'll go check again. Ah, the conical flasks were for the ink. So we need water and we needed black paint created at an alchemy workbench, which I think we had an alchemy workbench, right? Is this an alchemy workbench? That's no, a study table. Where is our alchemy workbench? Or did we ever make one? Can't quite remember. This is the church workbench. Can I make one? I can make, oh, I caught... It required advanced conical flasks, crafted at the furnace too, but I haven't unlocked that yet. Oh man, I need 30 blue points. Oh, actually, that's not too hard to do, because we can actually get blue points now from spending our stone on building those um, fence walls. And also at the same time, I can use those to replace the wooden ones to improve our graveyard, so it's a win-win situation. Everything is looking up. I feel like I'm figuring things out, and I'm liking it. Man, it costs a lot of energy, though, to craft all these stone gray fences, and also they take up an inventory slot for every single one. 
So that's the my main complaint with this stuff. However, I'm thinking maybe I can build another trunk somewhere around here. Just like right here. And I'll just like... I'll just throw stuff into that whenever I don't want to keep stuff on me. And I think that's what I'm going to do from here on out. Just to clear out my inventory when I feel like it. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. <laughs> it's good to have a couple extra trunks scattered around. Also, today's Miss Charms Day, though I think it's going to be too late for her. Oh, new body. Somebody. Oh man, I broke my pickaxe chopping down some rocks. Dang it. That's <laughs> eh, fine. Alright, let's take a look at the body we just got. I get the feeling that we probably don't have enough stamina to really take care of it completely, do all the processes we need to do. But that's fine, we can at least get started on it, on the autopsy. How much does it cost to get embalming again? Because I'd like to get embalming at some point. Though it's, it's going to cost quite a bit of blue points to, to get there, but we'll get there soon. An alchemy rag would be nice. Just to be able to make all this alchemy stuff. But that'll be for the future. Hmm. So for now, I say we take out the heart. I hope it gets rid of two red skulls. If it gets rid of one red and one normal, that's fine too. It got rid of two good ones. Okay, great. Great. Okay. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> you know what? That's just bad luck. It's okay. Actually, I feel like if the heart stuff doesn't go well, why don't I just take the body out and instead of removing all this stuff, we burn it. That way we get the thing. Ha <laughs> ha. What does it cost to burn? Just like that. That way we get the, the contract that we can sell and get some money off of it without having to lower the quality of our graveyard. I think it's a good idea. So now we're out of places to burn corpses, so that's not so good. Alright, got some ash salt and burial certificate. And also we do need some more ash, because we're going to make a um, something at the graveyard. I forgot what it was called to store all of these bodies and this type of stuff, and that'll improve the quality of the graveyard quite a lot if we get enough ash for it. So I think it's good to kind of build up our supply of burnt corpses. That's a sentence. Okay, okay, it's a good thing I caught this now before this episode ends, because I know you're yelling at me this whole episode. I know it, I know it. I'm dumb, it's fine. I probably put a disclaimer at the beginning of this episode just to make sure that I know it now. You know that I learned, that I figured this out. I had pen and ink this whole time. I made it earlier, or I bought it earlier. Or I bought the resources to make it earlier, and I had extra, and I d didn't notice, I wasn't paying attention. I mean, we still, it's still good to be able to make it on your own, so we still made good progress on that regard. But I could have been quite a bit further ahead in progress in making the new prayer. In fact, I probably could have had the new prayer done by the last prayer day. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone is fine. I figured it out now. It's fine. I think that's a good place to end this episode off on. I'm trying to convince myself right now. Yeah, because now all we need is just clean paper and a story, and we can get a chapter in, and then we can make ourselves this thing. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to end off this episode here. Hopefully you, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Graveyard Keeper. I really have, other than my stupidity at not noticing some things. It's more just not being aware of things, not paying much attention. I'm just enjoying my time in this game, okay? Hopefully you all are too and aren't too frustrated by me. <laughs> If you are enjoying this, I'd appreciate a like, comment, and a subscription. It really does help us out. And I hope to see you all on the next adventure!